Okay. Okay. This is a very, this is um, shown to be the bow that they would use during his time. Okay. So this is a bow. Yes. Okay. This bow is beautiful. I'm yeah. Very, I mean, it looks like that. a beautiful piece here. Oh, yes. So this is exactly what they would have used during his time to develop the dash uh, Ursa Ba'atra's bow. Yes. Okay. And they're showing the craftsmen on how these things were created. Mm -hmm. Thousands mm -hmm. of years old. And pretty yes. much of it is still intact. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Again, yeah, we forget the age. Just in the short period of time that I mentioned the age of that other piece, I wasn't already applying it here. I mean, again, these were the, these were the people that this was called the land of the bow. That and they the were tussets. known for their their yes. proficiency with that weapon there. Yes. Well, yeah, we would have been, yes, we were the, the masters and the marksmen of the bow. I mean, before anybody else, we're talking about before even the time of the Huns. Yeah. Or anybody. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You got the great, great Nubia who was the master of the bow. That's why they called the man of the bow. Yeah, that's okay. right. That's right. Because land of that very reason. So you got some archery in your history. If you're in the culture, you got some archery in your history. We can take archery classes. There's nothing wrong with us being in archery classes because at one point, we were the people with, who had mastered the bow. Yeah, I'm, you know, for all yes, exactly. This is our history. Let's get back to what we already know. Yes. Let's get back to that. Take your children, you know, all of us go back and take archery, please. Yes. You know, if, if nothing else, if we can open up a center, we can be able to do this because in this history, it's the longest lasting history that we know that's actually documented mm -hmm. that we have pieces that show yeah you know what we have what we were able to do just the craftsmen of making these boats right yeah crafting these them. things yeah i mean because this was the weapon this is one of the dominant weapons of that era i mean and it would last for lots of kingdoms have changed based on skill with the bow absolutely this is the this right here was, would have been the firearm of the ancient world right okay it was a. It was. A, I mean, they would use a sniper weapons. Mm -hmm. They would stand on top, right, and shoot down and rain down bows of people who are trying to come near in the suit. Right. Okay. It's not happening. You're not going to be able to do that. Yeah, you okay? couldn't do that. Not not no. there. Yeah, no. not there. Not that. Not the, that time. Exactly. The the Mete and other people have taken over and have conquered with the bow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? That's right. So the Medje were the masters of this. Right. Okay. And these people utilized and knew that right here, this right here is going to win. This turns the tide into the battle based yeah. on the bow. Yeah, on the bow. Yeah. The yes. it's, again, the, again, it goes back to the craftsmanship, the making of these weapons, all the engineering that goes into that, and then all the practice that goes into actually ma your, for your individual training. So you, in order to have a well-trained military Kings also had, and we talk about this all the time, money as well to have oh, your yes. have to have your military forces that well trained and also well equipped. Yes, absolutely, hundred percent. Yeah, and they got. I, I see they got it here. It's under glass. It looks it looks extremely beautiful. What's that piece that's next to it? Is that just kind of a stand or what? What yeah, is that that's there? A stand, exactly. That's okay. a stand, and to keep it there because remember now, uh, this thing is old. Yeah, this is really old. Yeah, so they really have to keep it um, as as erect as possible. Yes, right. And and I mean everybody, man, was around with their with their phones, taking pictures of it and everything. Mm -hmm. And I and I looked and I was glad. And I'm sitting there shaking my head. I'm saying yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm proud of our history. This is right. exactly what black right. history means right. to me. And that's a good right? feeling, right? It's a good, a beautiful feeling. Man. Yeah, absolutely. To, to, to know that we we could create and make something like that. It's just a beautiful thing. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. That's that's amazing. So that's the bow. You can definitely go see that if you go to the exhibit. So I'm going to move on to the next one here.